making a list, checking it twice, and making little ones smile. Santa Claus stopped by the Open Door Missions Lydia House to greet families and hand out some presents there. As KETV News Watch 7's Quinesia Fraser reports, the visit also marks a major milestone for one Omaha mother. Before he comes down the chimney, whatever I'm doing, this is going to be the priority to make sure that these kids are taken care of during Christmas time. Santa Claus met with Metro families who need his magic the most. There's no difference between kids that happen to be here and kids that happen to be elsewhere. Kids like seven year old Ariel Wilson. It's almost Christmas and he gave me presents. But last year, Ariel didn't get to see Santa in person. Every year I try getting her a picture with Santa Claus and last year because I was at the dope house I didn't get to but this year I got to I gotta get that picture her mom Chris Cravens has battled drug addiction for as long as she can remember I gave up I didn't care anymore her addiction led her down a dark path after suffering a brain tumor in 2006 then worsened when she lost her husband in 2019. Since I couldn't do cocaine anymore because of the brain tumor and what my neurologist said, I wanted to do the meth for energy and to keep going and going because I was working and taking care of her. Cravens is now celebrating seven months sober, but suffering homelessness for the first time in her life. Despite the difficulties this holiday, she's grateful. We're just very blessed to be here. You know, look at, we have a roof over our head, we have shelter, we have a place to put our clothes. Christmas, the season of giving and gratitude. Reporting in Omaha, Quinesia Fraser, KETV News Watch 7.